Welcome to iLecture Online and here's another very interesting application problem with trigonometry. Let's say here we have the sun and here's the earth and the earth goes around the sun. The distance between the earth and the sun, about 93 million miles, we call that one astronomical unit. Now let's say we're looking at the star far away. We look at it at this point in our orbit, Earth's orbit. And then we take another measurement to the star uh, when uh, the Earth is over here, which is three months later, right? The Earth goes around the sun once every 12 months. So when we go from there to there, that's about a, a three month period. And when we measure the position of the star, we notice that there's a slight difference in the angle. So the angle measured from the Earth to the star has changed by 0 0.00012 degrees. The question is, is that enough information for us to figure out how far it is to the star? And the answer is yes, because now what we can do here is imagine that we have this triangle. And let me use a different color. So here's a triangle. This is the distance between Earth and the Sun. We're looking at this distance right here, and then this distance right there. Okay, now. You may say, well, we, if we're trying to figure out the distance from the Earth to the star, notice that we're in a different location right here, so you know that there's a difference in the distance. But since the angle is so small and the star is so far away, this extra 93 million miles is insignificant compared to the whole distance. So when we're looking for x here, it doesn't matter if we include this extra distance here or not. It's so small here compared to x that we don't really care. So we look at this triangle, and when we're looking for x, we're basically looking for the distance between the sun and the star, which is the same as the distance between the earth and the star. The 93 million miles doesn't make a difference. All right, so if we accept that, then we can look at the triangle. We realize that we know the angle, we know the opposite side, and we're trying to find the adjacent side. Okay, that means opposite side, adjacent side angle, the tangent of theta is the right uh, the right trigonometric function. So the tangent of theta is defined by the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Okay, and in this case, the opposite side to the angle, that would be equal to one astronomical unit, right? The distance between the Earth and the Sun. So this is one astronomical unit, and the adjacent side is x. That's what we're looking for, the unknown. And then the angle theta is given, so we have to solve this equation for x. So we have x is equal to one astronomical unit divided by the tangent of theta. And that would be one astronomical unit divided by the tangent of the angle, or the tangent of 0 0.00012 degrees. All right, now that we know that, let's go ahead and grab our calculator. So we have 1 divided by 0 0.00012, take the tangent of that equals, and it's 477,000 astronomical units. So x equals 477,000 astronomical units. So here you can see that plus or minus 1 really doesn't make any difference. Wow, how far is that? Well, it turns out that one astronomical unit is approximately equal to 65,000 light years. So if we divide that number by 65,000, we can get the answer in light years. So divide by 65,000, and we get 7.3 light years. So that would be equal to 7.3 light years. And so that's how we figure out the distance to stars. If we're able to measure that angle, which is called the angle of parallax, it allows us to find the distance to stars. Simply by measuring the location of the star at one point in, our, in the Earth's orbit, and then measure the location of the star three months later, figure out that angle, and from that angle, and using fairly simple trigonometry, we can actually figure out the distance to those stars, and that's exactly how they do that.